Hello Taurus and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks which is from the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022 and it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And this is the Pear Tree Court oracle, which I'll be using today to draw a couple of cards from, just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Taurus for the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022. What messages are here for Taurus for the next two weeks? What does Taurus need to know at this time? Let's take a card there and there and let's see what you get. Taurus, logic and melancholy. <laughs> so logic calls you to um, use your discernment, um, you know, use your, your headology, doing things in a logical and practical way. And melancholy speaks of that contemplative downheartedness. Um, perhaps using logic um, is a way to overcome the um, melancholy. It's interesting because melancholy is all about the heart and logical is all about the, the mind. So it's sort of perhaps getting a balance. But um, it sort of speaks of, of you know, the, the, the blues, feeling down a bit. And um, on the other hand, practical, logical thinking. So there you have melancholy and logic. Let me just move this deck out the way. And let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what's on the cards for Taurus for the 24th of January to the 7th of February 2022. What messages are here for Taurus for the next two weeks? What does Taurus need to know at this time? And I've got the Infernal Tarot here, which I'll be using today to put down an eight card spread for you, Taurus. With the first two cards, depicting you in your current situation, where you are now. Next two cards highlighting the challenges you may be facing at this time and the following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the final two cards which may reveal your potential outcome to your situation. It shows the energies that you'll be moving towards. So let's see what you get. Two of Swords and Four of Swords. You have Justice. Let me just straighten this out. And the Four of Wands as your challenge. Your Guidance Cards. Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess, and you move towards the Ten of Swords, 
and the two of wands with judgment at the bottom of the deck. So judgment's a calling, um, sort of rising up again, um, perhaps hearing or finding a new direction, but certainly sort of um, almost reinventing yourself after a period of listlessness, inactivity, or feeling downtrodden. You know, hearing something higher um, and, and allowing that to help rise you up. May you sort of maybe a lifting of your spirits after a period of melancholy as well. Where you start off with um, at an impasse with the two of swords here and in action. So with the two of swords on its own, it's about needing to make a decision and not, not seeing clearly, um, you know, not seeing the whole picture clearly, so that that sort of hinders you in making that important decision. It sort of speaks of needing to use your intuitive um, knowledge or your, you know, sort of get a feeling uh, intuitively uh, to help you move forward, to help you make that decision. And, you know, the whole reading all together, especially with your melancholy card, it makes me think of being tired. It's almost like you're, you're weary, you're needing rest, you're recuperating from something. Something seems to have knocked you down. But it's also brought you to a place where there's a decision to be made. And until you make that decision, you're at this impasse. You can't go forward. So the call is to um, use your intuition. You know in your heart of hearts which way you want to go or which way you should go. So it's about finding your path. Um, and it's interesting you've got this particular Four of Swords really depicts um, someone who has passed on and you have judgment that's rising up from the dead. So it's almost like exhaustion or withdrawing from a period of a lot of mental activity and anxiety and perhaps strife even um, and um, needing to perhaps take that quiet time not to wallow in the um, the sadness or, or the, 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 the moodiness of it but rather use that time alone to think logically oh and there you have logic as well to think clearly and 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 find that that answer that you're looking for and you know with your challenge here and the ten of swords and judgment all together in this reading it makes me feel your you know your challenge with justice is is to find fairness in a situation make a, a, and and you and to make a clear and wise mindfully dis, you know carefully thought out decision that is going to affect your um your group whether it's actual family or people who are like a family to you the four of ones is about celeb on its own is about just celebrating something with friends and family um it, it sort of often depicts uh, like an engagement or a wedding, but you know it's about people who are in synchronization with each other, who are moving together um, harmoniously and have something to celebrate. But it's in your challenge position, and it sort of makes you know it sort of shows me the story I get from it when I look at the cards is, is about um, your your challenge here is is to find that that answer that direction to make that decision and be aware that the the decision you make is going to have ripple effects um and perhaps what you want is to just get that happy family feeling back again yes with the ten of pentacles this is um, this is a card of, of stability, security, 
and um, good family relations. So you've got two cards here, which is all about, you know, a, a, a union, a, a unity of family and um, working together or, or living together harmoniously. As a guidance card, the Ten of Pentacles urges you to work uh, or, or to put your efforts into something <clears throat> with um, deliberation, carefully, you know, planning things out and, and being dedicated to the cause, d dedicated to building something up that can bring stability and security and comfort, you know, a, 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 a abundance, not only to yourself, but to those around you. And with the High Priestess, um, again, this sort of links in beautifully with the Two of Swords. It sort of suggests that you will find that answer. You'll find the way to go. That veil will be lifted um, through your, you know, mindfulness, through just taking some quiet time, some rest time, and allowing the, the truth of the matter to rise up to um, with the High Priestess, she's the keeper of the knowledge and, you know, that the, 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 these, the books here sort of indicate knowledge and wisdom and that sort of made, even though at the moment where you begin it may not be clear, it may be veiled in some way, but when the time is right, the answers will rise up and you'll intuitively know It also speaks, you know, of, of finding answers that are connected to the sort of the strife. Um, and it, it sort of helps you bring that discord to an end. With the Ten of Swords, this is the ending of fighting, the ending of the discord, the ending of a battle uh, in a very um, decisive and painful way, actually. But with that ending, as difficult as it may be, it opens new doors for you. And there you have that judgment, that rising up from it. With the Two of Wands there, it sort of shows you able to um, contemplate what's gone behind, you know, before the past and um, use that wisely in order to help you find a new direction. You've got a two at the beginning of your spread and a two at the end of the spread. And both these cards are about that pause before you make a decision. This is about assessing your potentials and deciding on what path you want to take. So it does seem to be the, the whole spread sort of urges you to... Um, Move out of a period of melancholy, and that melancholy could have um, come about from strife and difficulty with family members or with people in your, your caress, whether it's work-related or relationship-related. Um, it's about moving away from the... The, the discord, the, the upset, the, the hurt, and moving rather in, in towards um, analyzing the, the dynamics of a situation and through that logical thinking, finding that answer, finding that way to go and being able to leave that strife behind. It does show you recovering though. And I mean, with the judgment, there is certainly a rising up from this difficult ending and finding a new direction, making that choice. So it's almost like where you begin, you can't see how to make it. But by the time you reach your final cards, you're able to make it. You're, you're assessing the way you want to go and, and using the, this past experience wisely in order to find that new direction, in order to choose that new direction. But, and your guidance cards here sort of suggest you 
you, when making this decision, you think carefully about how your actions are going to affect those around you, not just at the, in the present, but in, in as the time goes along. So it's about that ripple effect, um, about that legacy that you leave behind. And, you know, the high priestess is in a guidance card sort of suggests you tap into your intuition, you use your inner knowledge wisely. And that, you know, that whatever you're uncertain of in this beginning stage, you find those answers will surface gently in their own time, intuitively. Yeah, so there you have it, um, Taurus. It looks like you're at an impasse and you need an important decision um, that needs to be made and that's to be made mindfully, carefully, um, looking, to, you know, taking into account how your, your decisions are going to affect others around you. You may well end something quite dramatically, but it, you'll certainly find yourself rising up from this melancholy and embracing a new beginning, a new potential and, uh, you know, choosing your path, choosing your the way forward. So there you have it, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and then have a good two weeks and god bless you till we meet again